Hey guys, Michael from Pinpoint Podiatry here. If you guys are looking for the science of basketball shoes, you've come to the right place. Well, what a big weekend it has been for Kyrie Irving with two massive leaks that have gone viral. Those being the news of him wanting to be shipped off from the Cavaliers and the possible leak of the new Kyrie fours. So today we'll talk about both. Now, where do I want to see Kyrie go? I would love to see Kyrie in a Knicks uniform at Madison Square Garden with the bright lights shining down upon him. It would be a perfect match with his style of play. Kyrie and Porzingis could be an absolute terror matchup for years to come with Porzingis on the up and up and Kyrie just heading into the prime of his career. Now the other teams on Kyrie's wish list are the Spurs, the Timberwolves and the Heat. The Spurs might be a good fit. I'd love to see Kyrie evolve his game from being more of a scorer to someone who can facilitate and make his teammates better. Kyrie has absolutely mad handles and he would have the ability to get guys open looks without a doubt. Now the Timberwolves and the Heat, I'm not sure how those two teams will work out with the Timberwolves just committing a massive contract to Jeff Teague and the Waiters experiment with Kyrie has already been done in Cleveland with the two not getting along so well. So where do you guys think Kyrie will be or where do you think he'll end up? Let me know in the comments down below. Now let's take a look at the new possible Kyrie 4. So these are supposed to be replicas of the new Kyrie 4. Now, even though they are replicas, they'll probably still give us a pretty good idea of what the Kyrie 4s could possibly look like. But I'm not too sure with the recent news of the PG2 leak and then Nike coming out and confirming that no, they are not the PG2s, it is hard to say whether or not this Kyrie 4 leak is entirely accurate. First off, if we take a look at the design in terms of the geometry of the shoe, it's hard to see how that looks in these photos. But if we actually take a look at the actual design, I'm not sure if I'm the biggest fan of what I can see here. I'm not a massive fan of the design on the collar. It almost looks like an Australian indigenous pattern. If you guys have ever seen one or you're from Australia, you know what I'm talking about. Now Kyrie, you were born in Melbourne, Australia. Come down, play for the Australian national team. I'm sure we can work out some sort of deal. I mean, your dad played in Bulleen, which is actually quite local to me. So just come down, we can organize something. Don't you worry. I mean, it'll be you, Patty Mills, Joe Ingalls, Dally's okay. I mean, you'd be the man of the team. I know you wanna be the man of the team. But other than the design, the shoe definitely looks like a Kyrie and you can definitely tell that it is a Kyrie. It has the signature mid-top finish, which I am a massive fan of. I do like the mid-top shoe or the mid-top look. And I guess in terms of the actual sole of the shoe, you can definitely tell that it's a Kyrie. So if we take a look closely at the midsole and the outsole, it's still rounded. So if you guys have trouble transitioning from heel to toe or you have any forefoot troubles, this shoe is still gonna be quite beneficial for you. Now I'll tell you what, the traction pattern definitely looks pretty cool. The decoupling through the middle of the shoe definitely looks quite interesting. I'm not sure what kind of effect this will have in terms of how it's gonna go on the court, but it definitely looks cool. Now, if we take a look at the upper and the materials used in this photo, it's hard to say what it's made out of from afar, but it definitely kind of looks like a mesh. And I'm not the biggest fan of that because once you've had something like a fly knit or a prime knit, it's quite hard to go back to the mesh just because the fly knit is so comfortable. I mean, mesh is fine and it is breathable, but once your foot has had the sweet taste of fly knit, nothing can beat it. So what do you think of the new possible Kyrie 4? Do you think that these photos are gonna be accurate? Do you like the design of the shoe? If you've played in the Kyries before, let me know what you're looking forward to most in the Kyrie 4 down in the comments below. So thanks for watching the video guys. Again, let me know your thoughts on the possible move of Kyrie Irving down in the comments below. And also let me know what you think of the Kyrie 4s. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel go a long way. Or you guys can follow me on social media at Pinpoint Podiatry if you have any further questions or queries, or you even just wanna say hey. Now we all know Uncle Drew loves having a couple of nicknames, and one of them, as we all know, is the Ankle Taker. So, very important, as always guys, be an ankle breaker, don't get your ankles broken, 
and I'll see you in the next video.